Start a new piece that is going to be called In the Garden. So there's going to be flowers. I don't know what type of flowers these are. Uh, I think they are roses, uh, probably wild roses um, with a dragonfly. So we're going to start with the flower far to the right because it's the one that has the most light and I want to start with that one. So we're going to start with that one and I think I forgot, uh, I left um, a petal so I'm going to come back. We're working on sweat board and one thing I had trouble with this surface is to transfer the design. Uh, let's see if we can do a good job with it. Uh, so we're going to start with the petal, the lightest petal and I'm going to start with white. And this is the petal. I'm going to try to erase those, uh, put the whites and try to erase um, those black graphite lines. And this petal, it has a lot of white, but it's also very warm because this is the one in the, in the light. And what I like about this photograph is that I could see um, peaches and pinks and purples. So, um, I like to see a lot of different values. So what I'm going to do is I have a tiny eraser. So I'm going to try to erase those lines as we paint them. I'm working on this surface for the third time and this color for the first time and this color seems to be not too forgiving so I'm gonna start in here but if I see the color is not is extremely light because it's grabbing all the graphite and everything if it doesn't work in this color then I will change the color but right now we're gonna work with this one this is deco peach and I'm gonna put deco, I mean deco pink, and we need deco peach because we're gonna make this petal very peachy, and then the next one very pinky. We want to have very co big contrast, so I'm gonna put deco peach over those lines and try to cover. See if I'm able to do it by erasing and using the deco peach. And I decided I was going to leave that the background showing. One thing I like is if if I paint the background that I can varnish. So I'm going to paint um and this color background is not too forgiving. So I think I'm going to make um a very interesting background uh, with this. So we're going to paint the copish. I'm going to start with the copish in here. And continue with the white. Blocking the white. The important thing is not to press too hard, and I did press too hard in there trying to erase those um, graphite lines, but try not to press too hard from the beginning and you're going to be, uh, it's going to be better. So we are applying the white and we're going to apply the decopiche, white and decopiche, 
and we're gonna give this a lot of layers because this surface I have noticed that it needs a lot of layers color pencil and transparent best way to work with color pencil is giving a lot of layers ledger, 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 ledgering so I'm gonna go back and forth with the white making this very light but I wanna uh, blend it with that decoupage so we're gonna be blending the white with the decoupage Now this lower section has some orange, so I'm going to introduce, lightly introduce orange in here. It has, um, let's see, first before we do that, let's put lime peel in here, it has lime peel in there, and it has the lemon yellow. in here lemon yellow let's take a tiny bit of this is yellowed orange let's try to make it uh, darker in there now let's continue with the peach kind of peach put peach in here And then we're going to take a um, tiny bit of hot pink, put it on top of that orange in there. Let's bring some of these hot pink. We want to even go to process red. Process red in here. Let's blend that with the decoupage. Maybe a tiny bit of that hot pink in here. And you can even go up to cross this red. Let's continue adding that uh, pink. Trying to eliminate that graphite line <sighs> going with this decoupage on top of the graphite and I think it's almost gone I'm gonna put this on top of the white and I want to give another coat of the, that white. I probably need to have 
better point on my white. I like this surface to take it to the point where you cannot even put any more color. So that's how many layers I want you to put in here. Color pencils is not something that you can do very fast because of that. Because you have to put layers on top of layers. want this to read um, peach, so I'm going to the deco peach. And I think I'm going to bring also peach in here. I didn't put it on my instructions that I was going to use that, but I have, to, I'm going to, and I'm going to find that Peach. So this is peach, and let's bring peach also in here. Peach. That's peach. Go back to the copish. The copish and white. Terracotta. Let's take terracotta and put a tiny bit of terracotta in here. And let's put a skein our yellow in there. And the pink. This is hot pink. Hot pink. Let's take a uh, process red and make some veins. Some veins in there. Let's take hot pink and some edges, a tiny bit. Not all of them, but some areas with a tiny bit more color. Okay, this light comes in here and comes in here. Let's put a piece in there. And then we can put the deco piece. And terracotta. Let's see, let's put some white.
he's such a beautiful piece so I'm gonna try if it uh, doesn't look good to me um, maybe I change surface I'm gonna do another petal and if it doesn't work well to me I'm gonna change surfaces I wanna try doing the uh, different background uh, with different colors same colors that we have in the composition for example we have chartreuse so we have we can put chartreuse and what I'm gonna do is if I need to uh, blend the background oops I put green where this is pink not green so I I may have to use I will have to use gamso if I need to to blend this background but for example that was chartreuse and I can blend that in some areas with lime peel So let's see. I'm gonna put the next uh, the next petal. I'm gonna make here make it pinkier. So instead of deco peach, I'm gonna put deco pink. I don't like that color of background. Let's see, this is true green. So we can work later with that. See, I'm going to bring some gum sole and see what's going to happen if I put some gum sole. I'm going to keep on playing with this one for a few minutes and I decide if I'm going to redo it on a different surface. That's not working for me. Not the color that I wanted either. Let's uh, take some cool gray and gray this down I make work better with the gray Moving the color with the gum sole. That probably work, works better. Let's put some gray there too. Okay, 
think it works better. I'm gonna play, since I am playing, I'm gonna play also with the petal. Only one that is partly done. And I should have cleaned my brush because I'm bringing some of that green into the petal and that's not good. Let's see. Let's put more color now that we play with it. A fish, it's wet, and the color should be melting in here. on the edges okay this is hot pink I'm going to do one more petal and I think I'm going to change surfaces. Let's put peach. Putting color on top of that graphite. Let's take a uh, process red. That petal, um, has some, let's see, let's put some of the lavender on that petal. And blend that with the deco pink. Any bit more of the hot pink in here. And it has some of the yellow orange in here. And terracotta. And that uh, color we were we had decided that color was gonna be terracotta plus Toscan plus Scarlet terracotta Toscan and Scarlet Lake. Take white. I 
white. Okay, let's move on to the next petal with Deco Pink. Again, we're trying to eliminate all the graphite lines put in this color which was the true green but we're gonna put a tiny bit of the gray and we have to put with um, Gamsol and it was the Cool gray, darker um, when we get to the bottom but for now this is the color that we want in here and there's no instructions so you know that I am inventing everything that I'm putting is invented so let's go uh, with the deco pink on top of those graphite lines until we erase them. Terracotta. Tuscan red maybe a tiny bit of black black cherry that's what we need black cherry and scarlet lake Hot pink. Process red. Lemon yellow. Uh, 
a tint Put a tiny bit of hot pink on some of the edges. Let's take white. And deco pink. Layers and layers and layers and layers. Let's take um Toscan. that was still wet and it grabbed instantly the color this is hot pink let's put some of the hot pink in here Go back to the yellow, disappear. Orange, Let's make this smaller. Oopsie daisy. Let's take some cream. Cream and um, lemon yellow. Hot pink, which I'm gonna blend with the pink. The pink. They come so stay wet on the surface for a lot of lot of time. So if you put you see how the white is melting in there? You can keep on adding white and it's gonna melt in there. This white it's apple green. Let's put a apple green in here. Okay, so white.
Just then a um, tiny bit of deco pink because this is um, not as light as this other one. Let's bring some hot pink. In some peach. It's not peach. Peach, 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 peach. See a graphite line in there. And I'm going to eliminate that graphite line. with hot pink cross this red let's blend that with deco pink Plus this red. Now let's go with a tiny bit of terracotta in there. And blend that. Let's blend with peach. Let's go again with the raccoon in the inside section. Putting moss green here. Making this a tiny bit darker in there. I'm gonna put some, like there were some leaves in the distance. Um, and blending that with the warm gray. Let's blend in there that true green that we have in there and blend those two colors together. And let's bring the gum sole.
and blend those colors in there with the gamsol. It definitely the flower looks better if it has a darker background than the background that it has so this is the gray blending with the gray the 20 percent uh, 30 uh, 20 percent cool gray blending these colors in here Can continue adding colors but we have to continue with the flower and then we'll continue with the background so I'm trying to do them in stages for by sections I mean Okay, I'm putting white in here and then the copish, the copish, um, the copish. I'm gonna continue this petal that has the copish in here, the cop pink. And let's take some hot pink. can take a tiny bit of process red in here. Oops, that was not process red. That was the Scarlet Lake. Blend with the deco pink. And let's take a tiny bit of the Toscan. This is moss green and I'm putting moss green a tiny bit on top of this. Deco pink. Tiny bit of white. white and make some areas lighter that gives texture to the flower okay, let's move on to the next one I'm gonna uh, base coat this one with deco pink and um, deco pink completely and I will be right back That's it. Now I need to have a good point in order to see put the 
then this a tiny bit in here. Step move. Um, this petal is misshapen. This is um, deco pink. Take a tiny bit of processed red. This is white. And again try to put some veins in here with process red. is white. I don't like those paints so I'm gonna quiet them down with the deco pink. Be careful when you do this um, that it looks that it's going in the direction of the petal. Nine peel, true green. Green. Just bring some of the moss green. I'm not, I'm not trying to make any pattern. I'm putting color here and there. Without even thinking about it. Now I'm going to bring that um, gray color. is chartreuse. Just 
take a tiny bit of the true green but we keep moving between those colors and trying to make um, different colors of greenery here and now I'm gonna uh, use the gamsol again so I'm moving back and forth between the background and the flower Just, I'm putting this color because they were in the composition but maybe they're not the best color to use and mistakenly I put some on the rose and I didn't want to do that let's put that uh, pink rose in that petal with the warm gray, uh, cool gray 20% and blend these We can always also add some color of the flowers. Let's put some of the of the pink. This is the deco pink. Bring some of the hot pink. Process red and the Cool gray, twenty percent. Let's see more of the of the the copish. We need a color in between, and we don't have to. Let's use hot pink. Go to the um, chartreuse. And uh, true green. yellow orange let's 
for green. This is white. And let's take some hot pink. Again, trying to cover this graphite line with color. Putting the hot pink on top. Deco peach, I mean deco pink, a hot pink. Deco pink. And white. Let's put a tiny bit of peach. How can we make this up? Uh, Peach here. Let's put a peach here and there and make this because I wanted this one to be peacher, not so pink. So this is peach. Let's also add some more orange to make it even even peachier. Okay, this is true green here. Let's blend that with a cool gray 20%. Trying to do the background in between the painting so that it's not that boring. So I'm jumping from one thing to the other. But you can put, you know, you can do your background all together if you want to. See, this is apple green. I'm going to put apple green in here. I don't like that yellow in there. Very bold, very colorful. I like that. Let me go farther so that we are not off, out of camera. Okay, this is the cool gray and still blending with the cool gray. You can blend with any other color. Um, if we need more highlights after we're done in here, you can take some cream and do some more highlights. I am putting some highlight in here just because this is where the lightest flower is. You can blend with the fingers and it's really easier than blending with the pencils. You're going to have some color in your hands. Okay, I'm going to sharpen. not blending so you know what you can do it's not blending so it looks 
like it's not blending too well in there so what I'm gonna do is cancel cancel again and that make the trick now it blended it was looking grainy so you can fix that with get the gum sole. Put some gum sole and then you can um, use more of the pencils. Chartreuse. And true green. Look at my finger. Can you see the color? Okay, I love when the pencil melts after you put gum so that you start putting pencil again and it start melting. I love it. can do that if you want to, if not you can wait until it completely dries and then you can whoa <laughs> flying flying piece because I was gonna I was doing this lighter in here this is cream let's see if I can bring this it's not cream is not helping go to the gray Okay, so let's leave it for now because the gum sole is wet. See if you can tickle it. This is processed red and we're going to put it underneath this petal. And that we're gonna um, shade with. That was hot pink, I'm sorry. And now we're gonna put process red. Process red, hot pink, and process red. And let's take deco pink. take a tiny bit of the because we're gonna miss uh, there's a section of background in here that was the true green now we can put the deco pink in here and in here and in here just blend with that hot pink let's put a tiny bit of orange because this is the peach flower orange we'll keep it peach let's 
put a tiny bit of orange also on that. white let's bring the inside there the background that's the white Let's blend the peach in here and the deco peach. Okay, so we have um, the terra coral. Let's see, is in here and this petal continues in here white that was terra coral and orange and now white now let's find the colors that we need to put in here Put a tiny bit of process red in here so I can separate that section of petal from this other one. And then I'm going to put the deco peach in here. Let's take some process red inside there with a tiny bit of orange and a tiny bit of terra coral now we're going to put process red in here I mean deco peach in here Okay, let's take some process uh, hot pink. So starting with the deco fish. And let's see where it starts and where, where it ends. Let's take process red in here. In here. And this is the orange. I put orange in there and now I'm gonna um, shave with process red in here and I'm gonna highlight with the copies on the other side That's the Scarlet, Scarlet Lake in here and in here. This is Scarlet Lake. Scarlet Lake.
Pas le lait. Maybe we can put a tiny bit of Scarlet Lake in here. I blend that with, uh, I blend it with white. better with the gray. Oh, that was not gray. Yeah, it was the gray. Okay. Bring the true green. Let's bring the hot pink. to put Gansol. It's making a line in there. So let's bring Gansol. Put some orange, I mean orange. And some Scarlet Lake. gray is the cool gray 20% okay let's finish with this flower this stem I'm base coating with lime peel and Shading with moss green. Now highlighting with cream. Very tiny, so it's difficult. Let's put um, in this section of background. This is true green. We're blending the two green with a cool gray 20%. Okay, I'm gonna base coat with uh, the remainder with. Um, Deco pink this petal so that I can shade and highlight. We have section that we have not painted with the Tuscan red. So let's start. One. So these.
and then we're gonna take black because it's easier to get very dark and it has to go very dark with the black Gonna go over with the Scarlet Lake. It's very, very, very dark in there. Tuscan red. Let's put some Scarlet Lake also in here. This is Tuscan Red. Okay, finish putting the deco pink in here. Put deco fish. <laughs> Put some hot pink. Remember, we're putting a lot of the orange on this one. But we're try gonna try not to put too much orange on the others. So this one looks more into the warmth. It's warmer. So let's take some orange. And let's take some white, start highlighting. Take some um, hot pink. Hot pink. Take a tiny bit of the Scarlet Lake into that petal. In there, and a tiny bit in here. Let's put this Scarlet Lake in here. And go to Tuscan Red in there. Put a tiny bit of cream in here. Lemon yellow. Put I put the cream in here. Let's bring some lemon yellow in here. Oh, that was that was cream. 
So let's bring the lemon yellow now. Lemon yellow in there and blend with the orange. So we're now doing final touches. Let's put some orange in here. Some lemon yellow in here. Put some yellow in here too. White. Let's take the red. Let's blend that with the deco pink. Take white again. Okay, let's highlight everything again with white. Stronger highlight with white. Era coral. It's upside down to be sure that I'm not outside of camera. I'm gonna base coat this with chartreuse. Gonna take cream and highlight. I'm gonna take um, apple green. And shade.
line peel for the stem. Base um, shaded with um, moss green. We can put a tiny bit of orange in here. Let's put some Tuscan red on the on here too. Okay, let's deepen that shading with the apple green and highlight again with the cream okay we can put a tiny bit of of the lemon yellow too in here lemon yellow so again the orange we put a tiny bit of orange in there and let's take the true green and finish that background around these and I will be right back. I put a tiny bit of um, white in there. I think I took a um, terracotta and put it in the deep, deep areas. Deep areas. Some terracotta in the deep areas of there, 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 terracotta. Okay, we're gonna continue with the second flower, and this flower is gonna be more less uh, bright than this one. This one is more uh, yellow, pinkies, and a lot of oranges, and this one is gonna have some purples and it's not going to be as warm as that one so let's start with the petal on the back and we're going to bake it with deco peach um, I'm sorry, deco pink deco pink bake this whole petal with deco pink It goes all the way down here. With deco pink. Deco pink. Let's put um, the true green in here. So that is one coat of deco, deco pink, and now we are going to start uh, putting, dulling it, dulling it down, and we're going to put gray lavender, gray lavender, and dull this down.
gonna find another uh, lavender color and so we can use in here for first I'm gonna take um, Scarlet Lake and start uh, shading the inside area up to there let's blend with a deco pink and the gray lavender with another coat of the gray lavender and that I think uh, to be the color that I need I'm not gonna find any other color if I can avoid adding col extra colors in here it will be better. So I'm gonna highlight with white this section in here and let's see I'm gonna put some deco pink in here that highlight put a tiny bit more of the gray lavender Let's take some peach, tiny bit of peach. And I'm just going to put the peach in this area here. It's close to this one, so just gonna put the fish on that area and keep this area more with the white highlights blend it with that um, gray lavender it makes um, purplish lavender color I'm gonna deepen this. I'm gonna take the terracotta. And even more with the black cherry. Next one is very light. I think I'm going to find a lavender and I will be right back. This is lilac. So that we can really see that there is some lavender in here. And I'm going to blend with white.
lilac this is white and let's take a tiny bit of the deco pink behind that we don't want to see the graphite lines right let's put some gray lavender behind so we don't lose those two petals. So we put the deco pink on top of the graphite lines and then this section is going to be white. deco pink scarlet lake tiny bit in here very very lightly very very lightly in there I'm gonna blend with the deco pink Deco pink, terracotta, terracotta, and black cherry. And let's continue to the next one. Very light. So I'm going to start with white. So this petal with this flower is more into the purples, but it's um, also lighter, softer than this one. Has less color. Then we're going to make this one very pinky, but stronger in color than that one. Okay, let's bring some of the purple in here. This is lilac. And also behind. And let's put, um, finish putting the white. Okay, the remainder is going to be deco pink. And we're going to connect these two, but we're going to separate them later. Okay, let's put lilac in here, separating these two. That one has some lilac too. Let's add some gray lavender to that petal.
Okay, let's bring the Scarlet Lake. And maybe we're going to put, uh, instead of Scarlet Lake, we're going to put orange in here. And then Scarlet Lake. Can I put the the deco pink on top of that? Let's put the white deco pink. I'm gonna break a tiny bit the, this white. Let's put some of the Scarlet Lake too. And let's see green terracotta. Let's bring the white up to here. Terracotta is also in here. This section uh, is yellow. Let's put a uh, lemon yellow. Around this is terracotta. Put um, black cherry. Where did the black cherry go? Here. Tiny bit of black cherry in there, too. Lemon, yellow, yellow, orange, Let's highlight with cream. This um, terracotta separating this petal from the other one that is in here, giving this one stronger highlights. Let's also give stronger highlights to this one.
You can give the remainder of the background a coat of the true green. Um, we can put later other colors on top, but uh, while you doesn't have anything to do, um, or in when you're breaking in between the flower, you can give the background, the whole background of the remainder background a coat of the true green. So play with your background and give it a coat of the true green and in between. I'm not gonna do all that on camera so we're gonna still keep on playing with that flower and you know that you have to give a coat of the true green to the background and then we can from there uh, put other colors on the background so we're gonna continue with this one and I'm gonna re-highlight this petal And I'm going to re-highlight this. Going to take a tiny bit of the gray lavender and put it on the back of this one. Then we can put white in here. Like that. And this one in the back doesn't have that much white. Okay, let's see. This one is even lighter than this one. I'm going to start this one with the deco pink. Um, I don't want to lose, I don't have a very good lining here, so I'm just going to put the white on this one, this one is very light. I want to find it, so I'm going to find it and I will we'll be right back. Okay, that was white and I'm going to now put the deco pink. There's another one, very light and we need to put that in here because otherwise we're going to lose it. See, I erase a lot the lines, but I also erase a lot of my petals. Okay, so la and I have white on my hand in white. Okay, it's not a good color to start with because it has lots of wax because we are play, uh, painting this with Prismacolor Premier Colors. This is Deco Pink, not Peach, Deco Pink. And we're going to paint this whole petal in the back with a coat of Deco Pink and do that and we'll be right back. So this whole petal in here with a coat of deco pink. Okay, gray lavender. We have deco pink and now we're gonna put gray lavender.
Let's go to white. Let's go to Scarlet Lake. And blend with that um, deco pink. Seems to have some of the process ready here. It also has some orange. And Tosca Red. Go to the white again. The direction of the lines. Okay, let's highlight with very strong white. This is white and now I'm putting pressure. Before I would not put pressure because I didn't want to have it very strong. So now I am putting pressure. Maybe a tiny bit on this side. Let's take a tiny bit of pish, 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 and shading here. Keeping it uh, lavender. See the difference? You can put some of that direction with the white in here. And we already have it in here, we can put more. Put some of the process red. I'm seeing a lot of pink. 
on this one and maybe we need a pinkier color so I'm gonna find, oh here it is, hot pink hot pink let's put hot pink in here uh, hot pink in here pink 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 some hot pink in here in here tiny bit of hot pink in here then we can take the white Okay, I want to put a tiny bit more of the orange in here. And this is a uh, hot pink. Hot pink. Okay, let's base coat this section with orange. Let's take a um, hot pink. in some uh, Skylet Lake and process red Is ready here. Underneath, there's a, a very, very dark color, but we need to f uh, find these petals. So it is around here and it goes all the way Oh, this is black cherry
blend that with their recorder. So some of that black cherry in there. Let's base coat that petal with the um, deco pink. Deco pink. This is hot pink. Tiny bit of the lavender in here, gray lavender. places. Now let's go with the white. Okay, that petal was best coated with deco pink. Let's highlight with white. And some gray lavender. Let's put some hot pink. some gray lavender in there too. Now let's put peach in there. One thing is that this petal, this flower is has a lot of lavender but it, it's also family of the other ones, so we have to bring it closer. Let's put some uh, orange here and there to bring that one close to that one. I'm going to put more orange. Okay, let's finish then and then we can adjust colors. I'm gonna base cut this one with deco pink and I will be right back. White. On this one. And we're gonna put white in here.
let's gonna put hot pink in here so that these two petals doesn't blend when I base coat and then I'm gonna base coat it with deco pink yeah, so I'm gonna base coat both everything that I have left with deco pink and now I can check colors okay so let's highlight this one see if I can do it this way still this one has seems to have stronger lights than this one and the stronger light on this one is in here this is white in there and in here white before we put the white I'm gonna put a tiny bit of the hot pink in here on the back I'm gonna put the lavender in here and in here and let's hide with white layers and layers and layers and layers of color that's what you have to do with color pencils more layers you put the prettier it will look so layers and layers give some texture and I put some of the hot pink also and let's bring the scarlet lake orange and process red especially in there Let's take some of the Spanish orange and put it in here. Yeah. 
any bit of Tuscan red or terracotta, terracotta. put some of that Spanish orange in here process red this red on this one put some processed red on this one also Terracotta, black cherry, terracotta. Scarlet Lake it was jumping. I don't know what happened. He jumped. <laughs> Scarlet Lake. Scarlet Lake. It seems to be missing in here. Section Orange and Scarlet Lake. And I'm running out of camera and terracotta. And plus it's red and we'll be right back. Uh, lilac. Spanish orange and cream. Cream and Spanish orange. Got a lake. Okay, we're missing some of the Tuscan oh, terracotta in here, and we're running out of space, so I'm just going to keep highlighting with the white while the camera finish with the remainder of the tape. So this is going to be white highlights.
and I'm going to blend with Deco Tink and we'll be right back we'll be right back Okay, we need to bring this closer to this one so what I did was I started adding some tints of lilac some lilac tints and I added them in here in here in here and after you add those tints what you're gonna do is also add some more highlights because this one has very strong highlights so add tints and add highlights and that's gonna make it closer to that one because they are in the same bush so some tints of lilac This is white. Before you paint the background uh, on the dragonfly, make sure that you outline very lightly the wings with black. There's some areas that are that are stronger, like in the edges. It is stronger black in the edges and very soft in the other areas. Very soft. So that when you put um, this color, the true green in here, you will not lose the wings. I'm going to shade with moss green in here. And we are also going to finish with this uh, stem. It is lime peel first and then moss green. So I'm going to base coat them with um, lime peel. The leaves I'm going to base coat with um, I think I have to pull Kelly for, uh, for, for let's just do the stems right now lime peel shade it with moss green And highlight it with cream. Then you're going to take the true green and make sure that you have true green to the to that border and 
and I have not put on the gum sole yet on the true green. I will do it later. Um, I got a very cute frame for this. I don't know, know if it's going to work. Uh, but I order it and when it arrives I'm going to bring some of the colors of the frame on the background so that it can um, relate more to the, to the frame. But I'm waiting for the frame to arrive. This is the true green and keep doing the true green and you can do that out of, outside of camera. Okay, I have not finished with the background. I'm going to continue. I'm just putting one coat and then I'm going to blend with the gamsol. Um, this flower, I want it to be darker than the others. So I'm going to start with hot pink for the base coat. And normally I do not paint backgrounds this bold, uh, but I wanted uh, this piece to be very vibrant and um, very colorful. And I check on online and, and purchase. Um, this is white. I'm highlighting with white and purchase um, frame that I think the colors will complement with the colors that I selected for this flower. And I'm going to shade with um, Process Red. So hot pink for the base, highlight with white and Process Red for the shading. Then the next one, I'm going to start with white because you have a strong highlight in there and then I'm going to go to the hot pink and this is a very skinny one and I'm going to highlight with white You have to be careful now because there's a lot of things in here painted already. And then hot pink in here. It's supposed to be a line in there, but it's not. I don't know if it's in the pattern, but just put it like that. I start shading with that was hot pink this is process red and I'm going to almost completely cover that with the process red blend with the hot pink Highlight a tiny bit and it's white the edge in there. Now we have to bring some red. So this is Scarlet Lake. And we need to bring some of the terracotta. Okay, let's continue with white. This is hard because I've I lost the lines because I erased because I didn't want to fight. Let's use Deco pink and that one on the edge. And 
the one underneath let's start with hot pink um, let's see it is darker in this side so I'm gonna put first the hot pink in this side and shade and then I put the hot pink in the and the other side let's put process red on that side then let's start with uh, deco pink on this side blend with hot pink lightly and let's shade hot pink on the edge I need to put a paper towel underneath the hand and I think that one needs a tiny bit of yellow so I'm just gonna put um, Spanish orange and let's put again the Lightly, lightly, they have pink. Let's start shading with um, Scarlet Lake. Let's go to terracotta. Okay, let's put in here. Is terracotta in here? Go to black cherry. And I think we have to go all the way to black in there. Okay, let's continue. Hot pink. I'm gonna base cut this petal in the back completely with hot pink and we'll be right back. So I finished putting light, um, hot pink in here and while I was outside of camera I took a lime peel and I put it in all of the stems and now I'm gonna make sure with the true green that I don't have any spaces next to the stems and now I'm gonna take a white and I'm gonna start highlighting 
this one with white. So I'm making this flower a lot uh, pinkier and darker than the others. Lines in the direction of the petal. I'm going to go to Spanish orange and put some Spanish orange in here. put some in here too. I am base coating the leaves with apple green. It's a tiny bit warmer than the true green. but not as much as the lime peel. So I'm going to base coat um, all the leaves with this color. There are three leaves. And we'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to give a coat of true green to the leaves. The color is too, right now the color was too yellowish, greenish, um, and I wanted it more into the cool side, so I have to work on that edge. So I'm going to give a coat of this color to the leaves and I will be right back. This is a uh, true true green. I'm gonna shade the le leaves with Kelly Green. too warm uh, for my taste but we'll see how I'm gonna try to fix it okay let's shade with Kelly Green Okay, so let's work on the dragonfly. I'm gonna put my here. paper towel. And first of all, we're gonna place a highlight on the eyes. And this is very tiny. So I place the highlight. I'm gonna go around with non photo blue oops gonna go around with non photo blue and then I'm gonna go to electric blue Blend with the white. And with the non photo blue.
and then we're gonna go to to Periwinkle. And we need to go to black. It's very tiny. I need to find a gray for the center. Base coat the body with warm gray, 10%. Here and here. It's a section in here. We need to separate that. Let's take black. Separate that section. And we have also a section here with black. Let's shade um, with the one gray thirty percent. This is probably too light. Let's highlight with white. with white I was gonna put um, this color to highlight in here but it is this is a cool one gray 10 percent but it, you can hardly see it so I'm gonna go to white and I'm gonna highlight the wings with white And and this one in here. And this one a tiny bit less in here. Let's put a tiny bit on this one. so we're gonna put a few lines not too many because otherwise it's going to put too much black in here so a few of the veins it has more but we don't want these to be too contaminated with the uh, uh, black. Okay, so let's 
make sure that we have strong highlights of white and one thing that I have noticed with um, dragonflies that they um, sometimes reflect their wings reflect the colors of the of the things that are near so I'm gonna put hot pink also in here a bit of hot pink let's put a um, tiny bit of true green set the background um, shining through we can also put some orange. Don't uh, exaggerate or then they're not going to look as pretty. I think I did exaggerate. Uh, carry it away with my beautiful um, dragonfly we had not finished with the body but I lost the photograph so I'm gonna find the photograph oh here it is um, in its shading this is black Now it needs a mouth and the legs. The legs are black. And I'm going to find the legs. I lost them. And I'm going to base coat them with a black. And you're gonna be done with your dragonfly. I don't like if you don't like something what you can do is take a piece of tape and I'm gonna show you put the tape then go over the line that you want to eliminate with pencil and leave the tape and it's going to lift. So I'm going to, right now, I'm going to base coat what, what I have underneath. And it is, let's start with the lemon yellow. And we can go from there. Let's take some of the apple green. Take some of the Kelly Green. Let's 
steak must be This is a uh, cream. Apple green. Can I take hot pink and put a tiny bit of hot pink on this body? And I need a darker. Um, let's take periwinkle. Shade the lower section of the body. And then we can hide that with white. And black. Kept playing with my dragonfly, and I put now non photo blue also um, on the wings. And on the body. White. Okay, we have to finish with the um, bust and that flower. So let's move on. So we are highlighting with white. And we're bringing the lines inside. Let's put... um hot pink in here then the red scarlet lake then with hot pink I'm gonna put white because I I put too much scarlet lake Okay, so Scarlet Lake goes here. There's a light area in between. So I put white so that I can see that light area. And process red. I have some yellow and this is a uh, Spanish orange in here and in here let's take lemon yellow and find the dots the yellow dots to terracotta and 
and then one yellow again. And orange. <laughs> and this base go that bit on. With it's a tiny bit lighter, so this is a uh, deco pink. By the way, um, the Prismacolor also used to have a deco orange and a deco aqua and a deco blue, beautiful colors, which they will also uh, bring those back. Anyway, this is deco pink which is in the um, it's supposedly a new color but it's not it was a color that was discontinued before and was brought back so I'm gonna put deco pink on this petal up to here up to there you have a line in there, up to there. So I'm going to put deco pink on this petal and I will be right back. Put it again, the highlighting here. And in here. Sweatboard, it looks pretty as a background. Uh, but it's also a very um, surface that is very receptive for colored pencils. And... It's more receptive than some papers like Stonehenge. I feel that uh, it accepts the paper better than the Stonehenge, so that's why I'm using this. Still, I'm going to put other colors in this background, but I'm waiting for the frame so I can complement it with the frame. Putting some of this true green again on these leaves. Again, I'm not done with the leaves. I want to have also the um, the frame to see what uh, what are the colors I'm going to put in the leaves. But um, I wanted to bring some of the color from the dragonfly. And I'm sorry that I'm jumping around, but uh, I don't want to forget anything, so. I, I'm jumping because I remember that I have not done it and I want to uh, do it. This is um, non photo blue. I'm some, adding some of the non photo blue in here. So I'm trying to bring the color that I have in the dragonfly someplace else. Let's see what happens if we put electric blue. It, it's not showing. Tiny bit of electric blue. I need to highlight, so I'm going to highlight with white. Let's see, I'm going to highlight in here. And you know, another thing about this surface that is very cool, that you can blend with the fingers. That color doesn't show. Now that I put the highlights, I'm going to go again to the non-photo blue and blend with that highlight.
let's bring a darker color moss green so dark um so um ugly looking but um I didn't want to bring any other color but I may have to let's see maybe olive green or dark green dark green see if I can bring dark green see how dark green looks This is dark green. Dark green. I have to remember putting this in your instructions. I don't want to cut too much attention to those leaves. green so finish shading the stems with the um, all um, moss green have the piece upside down so that it is easier for me so you're gonna shade with moss green on this side and then you're gonna highlight with cream on the other side I was not cream with cream if you need to you can blend again with the lime peel. This is chartreuse, not lime peel. Let's go to lime peel. finish with the rose. Okay, I'm taking a tiny bit of uh, true blue to color out the background and putting it on top of those um, lines of the stems because they look so... because the color is so cool it makes it look even warmer than what it is. I'm going to take um, apple green and also put a tint of apple green on the stems. Kelly Green. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of Kelly Green on the stems and I will be returning. Shading the stems with dark green.
that will give it um, more of the cooler green that we want it to have. There are going to be more adjustments when we have the frame, but for now, it was I was not liking that color. But when we receive the frame, and you do the same one, you have the whatever frame you're getting for yours. not well the frame that I'm getting is one of a kind but um, I'm gonna put the information of where I got mine in case you want to try to see if that person can make one for you sometimes I like to do that I like to um, complement the pieces with one of, of a kind frames. You can even try to make your own frame. Okay, so I'm gonna continue now with this flower. And we were doing the petal at the top, now has a hair. And so let's highlight with white. When you put the color <coughs> at the beginning, it doesn't take, but you have to keep on uh, putting it layers and layers and then you start uh, taking it. Okay, um, this petal also has a tiny bit of the lilac. process red let's blend with the hot pink Go back to Deco Pink. I 
and blend. white white this they call peach and process red Okay, this is one is very very dark so we are going to set it has a um, yellow section I'm missing a line so I'm gonna find the line that I'm missing in here and I will be right back so this is um, Spanish orange and I'm gonna put it in here And the remainder of the petal is going to be base coated with um, the hot pink. Sometimes I feel like it loses some of the color, that, the application that you put of color, and since it has not been varnished. So let's put the hot pink in here. So make sure you have some of these uh, deco pink on the outside edge of this petal and we can put some hot pink in here for the other one. Blend that with deco pink. Put some processed red. In there. White. The 
this petal continues in here and connects in here This is process red. And the copy. Now Maria then um has to zoom a lot and the problem is that then you see it um more than what you normally see with your naked eye. Let's take some process red underneath in here. Sometimes you can even go to uh, black cherry. White. That's the other thing about zooming is that when you zoom then this is um, yellow orange. When you zoom, you have to be careful that you're not outside of camera because you turn to be outside of camera. And when yellow. Some yellow, lemon yellow in here. Process red. orange process red okay this Finish putting the hot pink on this petal completely, and we're gonna put deco pink on this one. And when I have those two petals base coated, deco pink in here and hot pink on this one will be returning. Okay, so I base coated this with deco pink, deco pink, hot pink, and hot pink. I am base coating then we can shade highlight normally I do one petal at a time but trying to finish this um, project I think this is faster this way Okay, let's take hot pink. First of all, let's take um, the hot pink in here. Okay, 
in the edge in here. And on this one, I don't know why this was not gonna go with the decoupage on the graphite line. And I like to leave my pieces after I'm done resting because when you return you can see things that you have not seen before. I'm gonna fix that uh, point, you see? Now it's a better point. Hot pink. Now let's shade the other one with process red. process red but before I do that I want to make sure that I have this lemon yellow all the way in here let's put hot pink in here And process red in here. the lemon yellow separate these two petals with the process red okay let's take the terracotta and these have to cover a larger area pink Let's take the crimson uh, scarlet lake I like this 
one with white it takes a tiny bit of the hot pink on the outside edge Then the hot pink with the white. We can take um, the co pink to help with the blend. And then we can re highlight. Since we have the white, let's put other highlights. Blend with the deco pink and hot pink. And we'll be right back. Okay, we have to build strong shadings on this one, starting with the hot pink in here. Then we're gonna go to process red. Oh, this is uh, Scarlet Lake. I'm supposed to put process red first. Almost done with this flower. What you have to do is, if yours still looks um, that it needs more color, rewind it, the the video and go again and add the same colors. The more application of color, the better coverage it will have and the prettier it will look. That was white, and this is um, the deco pink. And back to the white.
that was white and this is deco pink and back to white Put some lilac in there. Add some lilac in here. Some lilac in here. Okay, let's finish this. We don't have too much to go. So we're going to start with the lemon yellow. Let's just add the highlights in here. In here. Here. So we're going to start with the highlights and then we're going to base coat with the chartreuse okay let's base coat the remainder with chartreuse Okay, let's start shading. With the true green. I'm gonna shade with the true green. And we can further shade with, um, let's see, this is apple green. That's not too strong. Maybe we can go to Kelly green or moss green. Let's see, Kelly green. We're going to highlight with uh, cream. Let's highlight with cream. And we're going to leave this for now like this. And what we're going to do is when I have the frame, I'm going to add tints. I'm going to let you see what I do to mine so that later you have an idea what to do with yours. This is true green. Let's blend with our truths. And lemon yellow. green 
Okay, one more th thing that I want to do before I leave. I'm going to take the process red. I'm going to start shading a tiny bit more this one. On that side and let's see lilac on this side okay so for now we're gonna leave it like this and we're gonna wait for the I wanna also have the frame in order to sign it but we still have to work a little bit more on the background and when we return if we need to reassess the highlights uh, because we're gonna leave it uh, for a few days to we'll know it then if we need to add more or not forgot to put um, moss green here and that will be it gonna shade this a tiny bit with dark green. There's also one in here. Most green shaded with dark green. I blended a tiny bit the green with the lemon yellow, the leaves. So blending a tiny bit with the lemon yellow. Lemon yellow. Okay, so I'm going to put a tiny bit of um, sky blue in here to make this section lighter. Sky blue. And I'm going to show you the frame. I'm going to show you the frame. This is the beautiful flame that I uh, bought for these. And I'm going to bring some of these dark colors into the painting. And that's why I wanted to bring some lighter tones. So I'm going to bring some of the colors of the frames into the painting, the background. So I want to bring some of the dark colors. See, I'm going to start with dark green and darken some areas. And I'm going to use Gam So I put some of the dark green in here and now I'm going to put apply some gamsol and blend this with the gamsol and that's going to be it for this section. I don't want to put too much because I don't want I want I still want to have the light colors. Okay, in this area I want to put some blue. Let's see, I'm going to put light aqua. Light aqua. So I'm going to put a light aqua in here and 
blend it with the gum sole tiny bit of light aqua in here and blend it with the gum sole and I will be right back and I put a tiny bit of, of this light aqua also in this side trying to make here an interesting background okay so now I'm gonna put some gum sole and I'm gonna blend this with the true green another coat of true green and blend with that light aqua with true green in here This um, sky blue light. Let's see, let's find another, um, this is a uh, light green. After I finish putting this color, I'm going to apply the gum sole. And I finish putting this color up to here. I'm gonna bring some of the pink in here, and this is hot pink. Some hot pink in there. I bring some of the peach in here, the peach. Doesn't show. If it doesn't show, let's try orange. Any bit of orange in here. Oh, yellow orange, yellowed orange in there. Let's bring some of that dark green in this ash. Um, this is apple green. Apple green. some of that dark green in here
these tent uh, grasses. Make sure you have darks in here, otherwise you're going to lose those um, um, leaves. This is the hot pink. hot pink, a tiny bit of hot pink I'm gonna blend that with the um, or maybe not, you put it lightly the hot pink in there okay so now I'm gonna put a tiny bit of console and I am going to call this done and you if you don't like it, you can put in other places some of the, still put in the hot pink, some of the color in other places. Put a um, tiny bit of orange in here. This is hot pink. Maybe a tiny bit of, of the orange. Okay, so apply your gamsol and this is orange, not yellow orange, is this. And enjoy your piece. Don't forget to sign, put the frame, and then sign your piece so that the um, signature is inside of the frame. There are no specific rules on anything, um, so I'd like exper to experiment uh, to achieve the things that I want to achieve. And uh, something that I experimented was that I can put stronger highlights with liquid uh, gel, but then I can take um, instantly a wet brush and I can blend that liquid gel before it dries so you can put the liquid gel and take a wet brush and you can move that liquid gel the way you want it to move so again some liquid gel in there and I'm gonna leave it like that but if you want you can uh, blend that with a wet brush and that's it hope you like this design enjoy mm -hmm.